DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, it's Saturday morning and I'm out on a little walk. Uh, you, Those of you who've been with me in the mornings before will know where I am. I'm not very far from the hospital. Over here is a rather interesting uh, building. There's a psychiatry clinic, there's a little chapel, and there is a, a creche. So basically a, a place for young children over here. There's not any on the Saturday though. It's a, it's a five day a week thing, I think. But the thing is, it is very cold. It was seven degrees Celsius this morning. And as you notice, I'm wearing actually a jacket and it's still pretty cold. Out for a walk. Um, we were gonna have the whole family over for lunch, but I got a call that they all caught a cold or something, and they're gonna be over in the week, uh, not the weekend, but the afternoon later on. And second son of DC and his partner will probably be coming over nevertheless. And that'll be good. It's, it's kind of fun every now and then, you know, just to have one of the families, you know, you can chat differently and yeah, it's just good. I just, uh, just before I was walking and somebody called out my name. It's always quite amusing. Uh, it's a lady, she's Brazilian, but it's been living here for years and years. And um, her first name is America. Yeah, rather, uh, I mean, it's not a common name, but that's her first name. And because of that, she's always called me Canada. Actually, I wonder if she actually even knows my name. So I heard somebody yell out, Canada, Canada. And I turned around and it was her. I didn't even know that she worked there. I didn't even know what she, uh, well, did. She's uh, in nursing because I was opposite, not the hospital, but a, a senior's residence. Yeah, so that was a bit amusing. Because she was telling me, you know, like she's 55 and bought a, I, I would always going to say a, a, a very old house in, in a mountain region. Uh, so she probably, and I mean, not, not a very touristy mountain region. So probably got it for a good price. And I think she's already getting ready slowly to, to retire or something like that. Anyway, but got me thinking you know like I've been through the first week of call it vacation slash retirement and there is some getting used to it you know one of the things is uh, uh, not having well I've been taking walks in the morning uh, so I kind of be walking uh, about an hour a day something like that an hour to an hour and a half in the day but it's different, like for example, the lunch. I always ate less at lunch. Mrs. DC has a bigger lunch. So I'm gonna have to kind of adjust my, my habits a bit, or our habits, I should say. Uh, it's okay, I mean, it's just that it's getting used to things again. Some might say, well, you've been on vacation before, you know what it's like. The question is, yeah, the answer is yes, but I guess there's probably something psychological that makes it different this time. Like I know like, uh, that's the way it is. There's things to do. I had a, uh, my younger partner at work, work colleague over at work who came over yesterday because I'm not wearing it today because it might rain, but part of the presents that they gave me uh, for departure was a, a beautiful, uh, I was going to say a beautiful Panama hat made in Ecuador. I know Panama's the words Panama, but they're made in Ecuador. So handmade, a really, really nice one. Nice and, and thick actually. Uh, so I, I wore it this morning for a very quick walk, but now I'm a little bit worried it might rain. So I wouldn't want to get it wet. No, anyway, so that was really nice. But then we were chatting, nevertheless, about, you know, one or two things. 
uh, of work because I will be going back for one day on the 23rd. Kind of like I always like to say the honorary day where I just go and help them out. And uh, yeah, you know what? Since I got into, in my head, the retirement mode, I am actually very happy <laughs> because when I see the way things, you know, the things that I'd have to take care of when I go back, and I don't, I don't, I don't have to take care of it. <laughs> it's almost worth, I don't know, it is worth the loss of revenue. Yeah, uh, I'll just show you over here. There's the mountains far off, and in the beginning of this week, this was a this was a field with uh, uh, well a cornfield, and uh, they just cut it. Uh, they harvested this week. Yeah, so all of a sudden I walked and I said, "That's strange. Something's different." And I just like turned over around and said, "Oh yeah, well, it is different. It's uh, it's gone." <laughs> yeah. What is really nice though is that uh, even though I'm walking more uh, towards work where work was, um, it's a great place to walk. Uh, you know, there's just a lot to see. There's usually a lot of birds, as usual. If I say that, there won't be any as I talk. People walking their dogs, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. I've been working really hard on one thing though this week is I put one of my, one of my, and probably the only real objective that I've put at least for the, for the next year, put it that way. I have mentioned it last time was Spanish. And I've been working on that. And I get so frustrated when I make a mistake. You know, there's certain things uh, that are slightly different between uh, English and Spanish as far as the grammar, as far as the grammar goes. It's slightly closer to French. So I say slightly closer because, uh, you know, some things are and some things aren't. So since there's masculine and feminine, usually you, if you know French, you can use that for, you know, uh, for the uh, adjectives and things like that. But what happens is that uh, contrary to a lot of, uh, well, English or French, for example, the attributes come usually at the end or stuff like that. Or if you're talking about, in a polite way, about uh, a lady, you will say the lady, you know, la señora, where we would just probably say uh, Mrs., you know, or something like that. So little things like that you do get used to. But, you know, if I make a little mistake and, and all of a sudden it's an utter, uh, since it's on the app, it's an app on my iPad, and all of a sudden there is another... Uh, Another noise, so like you know, it kind of goes ding when it's good and or something like that when it's wrong, and that's so frustrating. <laughs> I know it's first world problem, really is, but it's it's fun. It is fun, and there's still a competition that kind of gets me because it it does get to me. The competition is that you don't you see names, so I'm just written there as Bernie. But you see names of other people, and I, I'm in what they call the Ruby League. I don't know why. It, that's where I am. And there's a promotion zone, and there's a demotion zone, and there's just a zone where you're in the league. But to get into the promotion zone, you got to be in the first seven. And you've got points. So the first four... Or like, I don't know what they've done. If they've slept or worked 24 hours a day, but they've got like so many points. They are, you know, there's just no way anybody can get to them. So there's like people, there's five, six, and seven. So basically the next, the three last spots in what they call the promotion. <laughs> there's like myself and two other people. And one day it's one of us is getting kicked out. One day it's the other one. And you've got to stay in that seven best for seven days to be promoted. It's, it was kind of a race. So I was thinking about it this week. I was thinking like, eh, I wouldn't put myself in another rat race. Is that what I really wanted? <laughs> so I don't know, I'm getting through this week. Important actually for me is this that I learn. That is the main thing, much more than the points. But the whole, 
competition thing. It's something I've been, you know, kind of wondering. Uh, when people get to retirement, I don't know how many minutes I have on no, my chat, so I'll wind this up. But I was just thinking that, you know, when we get to retirement, you'd like to get out of the rat race. And that's what I was thinking all of a sudden. I was thinking, uh, did I just put myself into another one? <laughs> but it's another one of my own choice, I guess. That's slightly different. Where work is not uh, really a rat race that you always choose, is it? Okay, anyway. So a Friday chat, I'll probably come again tomorrow, maybe later on, with tag videos or what. So we'll see. You know, I've got to get into, and I will really close down with that, but, uh, you know, my lunch times on my own were a good time to do videos. And I realized, like, hey, wait a minute. I'm not at my usual bench anymore for things like that. So you do have to readjust a lot of things about life. Okay, DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Went back home and get things ready for lunch. Bye bye.